me, this is the Makeup Artist, and I'm here to teach you this wonderful tutorial on how to get this look for your back to school slash everyday school look. Simple, fast, and easy, and literally simple. It's a little bit of hint of a color. It's not too much. You're going to love this. I am in love with it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe before you start this video. I will not start. Subscribe. Did you subscribe? Subscribe. Anyways, well, I really chose this look because I think it's something simple and fast. Um, I think everybody's going to go a little bit too much. I've seen other people's YouTube videos, you know, from back to back to school, and I was like, you know what? It's not too much, but it's, um, I chose something simple, something that you can do really quick, something that you can do either for the first day of school, or just something you can do almost every day at school that is not too much. I'm wearing a navy blue liner, and I'm wearing a brown lip. Love Jesus, I'm on fleek. I have that highlight, I have that contour, it's something simple and nice, it makes your face look clean, and it sculpted the face, and you're just like brand new, so if you go ahead, go ahead and keep watching the video, if you want to see this, if you don't like watching these videos, well I don't give a shit, I'm going to be like, Manny, don't fucking wash it. <laughs> I already started with my foundation, and I primed my face before my foundation. I am using the Makeup Forever um, primer, which I don't have on here with me. But um, then I'm I'm using this eyeshadow base. That I already put my primer on my eyes as well. Um, I believe it's by Krylon, and I'm gonna go in with the Morphe's concealer palette, and I'm gonna go ahead and start doing my um, contour. So I'm not gonna do a deep contour to the point where I cannot find. Um, I lost my train of thought. <laughs> I'm, I'm only gonna do the highlight. I'm not gonna do the actual contour. Only because we're going for something more natural and more subtle. So go ahead and just do. On both sides. And we're just slightly highlighting the areas that we want, which is here and up to here a little bit. Perfect. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and blend that in with my beauty blender, and I'm going to be taking the um, the beauty blender is moist, so it's literally a little wet. I rinse it under water and I squeeze out the water, and I'm gonna be taking the Smashbox Photo Finish a primer water, which I have to go give me some more because I have like nothing in here. And I'm gonna go ahead and spray that on there, and I'm gonna blend the shit out of my highlight. You know what I'm saying? Heat the face. And go ahead and just blend to the desired point. You want it to look really natural. You just want to make sure that the, you can still don't blend it out completely where you don't have anything on. But you want to make sure that everything is blended in, buffed into the skin. And then go up here. Alright, and then I'm going to go ahead and grab my powder brush. And I'm going to go in with the Krylon anti Shatter um, Powder. Anti Shine Powder by Crayon. I already put some on here and I'm going to put this all over my face. Now, this is a really white pigment, and the foundation that I'm using um, is by Hourglass, and it's really, really, really white on me. And since I'm wearing blonde, I do go a little bit lighter on myself, so don't be judging me for the rest of my body is black. Well, brown. No offense. In Sunstar 04, this is more of a bronzer. Sunstar 04, it's like literally gone because of. Me and my friend, and by Rimmel, 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 London, Rimmel, London, and Sunstar 04. So I'm gonna go ahead and take a uh, brush like this, and I'm just gonna slowly work my way in. So basically, what I'm doing here with my um, bronzing is that I'm doing it like an ombre, like an ombre. I'm starting to light it and go a little bit darker, and then just deepen the contour to make it look like. 
the Makeup Forever Professional Paris Pro Sculpting Duo. In the number two, and it's this one right here, and we're also going to be using that to highlight. Oh my god, I guess it's totally in the background. Yeah. So I'm going to be go ahead and using that brown, and I'm just going to put it on the tip of my angled brush, which I'm going to use that as my contour. And I'm going to start from here down to like where the middle of your earlobe is. Is that way you can not the earlobe? Oh my god, the ear, the center of the ear. I'm gonna do a dark face so I can see the skinniness because I'm fat. Okay, and if you feel you put a little bit too much around the edges, ashes, the edges, go ahead and get the powder brush that you used and just um, buff it out on the side so it doesn't look like too much. And with the same angled brush, I'm gonna go in with the Craylon Dry Rouge Brusher Palette, um, which is this one right here. So this one right here and I'm gonna go ahead and grab their darkest brown which is the color I believe 101 and I'm literally just gonna use this end of the angled brush literally and since it's more of a deeper brown I'm just gonna use this at the edge of my contour at the beginning sorry just to give it more depth And I'm gonna go ahead and just buff it out again with my powder brush so it doesn't look so harsh. And go ahead and do the thing on the other side. Do it! I'm go back in with the Makeup Forever Purse Pro Sculpting Duo, and I'm gonna use um, this brush. This brush actually came in with my Urban Decay Naked Illuminated um, Aura Bronzer. Aura. That's the name of it. And um, you can, the good thing about this is that you can use this um, dry or you can activate it with water. But what I'm going to do is, since I like activating with water to give it more um, uh, of a color, I'm going to go ahead and use the exact same space uh, Smashbox Pro, I mean, Photo Finish Water Primer. Oh, primer water? Primer water. And I'm just going to put the brush, just the brush. And I'm going to go ahead and literally dig into that palette and do my highlight right underneath my eye and top of my cheekbone and I go just a little bit down to like towards the middle of my eye to give it more of that bronze and my trick here that I like to do is that I like to go up on the side of my eyebrow as well just a tiny bit and then blend it out and then of course, since I have an oily, oily skin, I don't go in the middle of my forehead. I go slightly above my eyebrow, and I blend that in. And then just the tip of my forehead. And I'm gonna go in with the Sephora Colorful um, Collection brush in Heated, which is number 16. It's a really pretty blush look. Look at that. And um, whatever was left on my um, my angled brush, I literally just went down the bridges of my nose. And um, once I was done with that, this I'm gonna grab the exact same brush and just tap it in there. And just tap it like in between, a little bit here and in between right here, going up. Right. And now I'm gonna go with the Bella Pierce Cosmetics. Um, Loose eyeshadow powder, powder, eyeshadow, loose eyeshadow, yeah, and a powder. Um, but in the color Excite, you guys know I love using this as a highlight. I love it. Yes, I'm going to be mixing in two because I really, really like Champagne Pop by Jacket and Hill. Um, when she collaborated with Becca, but I could do not have it. And this is a good mix where I feel like it gives it the same thing. But I'm gonna go ahead and grab this fan brush. I'm literally just gonna tap that in there slightly and have this much left and I'm gonna put that literally just right here and then I'm gonna yes look at that look at that ah! <laughs> and I'm gonna go 
ahead and do the same thing but with a little bit less more on the brush and I'm gonna highlight here a little bit a little bit here and up here but you're literally gonna put more right here just right here and just blend it out slightly here slightly here slightly here and a little bit more here slightly all right and now that we're um, done with the face I'm gonna go in into the eyes now. I'm gonna go in with Joy to the Girls by Too Faced, the palette. And I'm gonna go in with um, a little bit of Snow Angel and powdered sugar. And just put that in the center of my eyelids. Alright. And I'm literally gonna do this just with my finger. I'm just lightly gonna put it there. And then I'm gonna go in with a um, one of these brushes that I can't remember the name of it from the life of me and I'm gonna go in with the same palette and I'm gonna use cookie dough which is kind of like a, a light latte color and I'm literally just gonna do this because we just we're just trying to be as natural as possible we isn't trying to be bam bam well at least not today that was picture day Uh -huh. I literally, I don't know why every time I record I forget the names of everything that I need to talk about. And then I'm going to go ahead with a fluffy brush. I'm going to go with a bigger fluffy brush, a clean fluffy brush. And I'm going to go ahead and do this, blend it out, blend, blend, blend. Then I'm going to go in with Mulberry, which is like a purple brown. I want to see more of a burgundy, but not really. It's more of a brown with a hint of purple in it with the same palette. And I'm going to go in and in the outer corner. Of the lid? In the crease. In the crease! Mm -hmm. Same um, clean brush, blend it out a little bit. Then I'm gonna go in with Yule Log. Names. No, that's a lie. I'm gonna go in with chestnut with the same palette, which is literally a light, it's like a medium brown with a little bit of shimmer to it. And I'm just literally gonna put that in the center of my crease, just right here. Just right here to deepen it a little bit. He was in my lighting, sir. Mm -hmm. My little brother. Mm -hmm. Y'all just get out of my light. Okay. Anybody said you can talk? Build in my eyebrows with this hourglass um, arch brow sculpting pencil in the color dark brunette. And what I really like about this brush is that it literally comes out angled. Can you see that? It literally comes out angled. So it was easy for me to sculpt. Brush in and do my eyeliner, my eyebrows. And then it has the little eyelash bougie. And so, of course, look at the flick of that bougie. Mm hmm. Making it natural. That means natural for y'all, so don't speak Spanish. And we're gonna do the last but not least. We're going to be using the Kat Von D Ink Liner, the liquid eyeliner, which is waterproof. It's literally called Ink Liner. In the color Baudelaire. I do not know how to, how to say that, but this is a dark navy. Now the reason we're using this is because we want to add a little bit of color. Like I'm here, y'all. Okay. So this is a really good liner. I love it so much. And she has these in like all these different colors, but this is the one that I own at the moment. Or else I'd be using a different color. Look at it. I'm gonna be using Grand Dose or Dose or Dose Grand Dose by Lancome 
which is this one right here. This is Lancome and this is the name of it, I don't know. I honestly don't know. What I love about this brush, it's literally quick at an angle, so it's easier for me. Oh, I didn't curl my lashes. Don't forget to curl your lashes, but since I ain't going anywhere, I'm gonna get that special. Just to be sitting up. <gasps> the room. Look at this. Hey, look at that. It literally looks like I'm wearing fake lashes. And then I go on top. And I love this for the bottom lash look. Look at that. So easy. Oh, oh my god. I always have a hard trouble getting my bottom lashes with them big ass brushes. When it comes to mascara. color Coco by Artistry. It's literally a chocolate color. And then I'm gonna go in with Max um, Stone in matte lipstick. The sun literally decided to come out right now. Literally. Don't forget to be yourself to feel yourself and see you guys next time. Bye!